Hello and welcome to The Running Channel. I'm Anna. And I'm Kate. And today is New Shoes Day. Yay. So we are going to be testing out some new shoes. Uh, the great thing about running is that it's really accessible. You really don't need to continually upgrade your kit and get all the brand new tech like you maybe do for some other sports. <coughs> Let's face it, there's not a lot that you can get for a tenner, depending on where you live, right? So we found the most entry-level shoes that we can, but, you know, is running in a pair of shoes uh, that cost £10 a good idea for a beginner, or should you really be maybe spending a bit more? And will they destroy my precious feet? We're going to put them to the test. Uh, but first, if you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you get notified when we upload new videos, which we do every week, all about running. So the running industry is dominated by high-tech new launches of brand new shoes that promise you can go further and faster than ever before. And that's fine, we're a big fan of getting excited over those, of course, but we are today going to be looking at something down the other end of the scale. Absolutely. So, I mean, value is all about perception, you know, how much you're prepared to pay. But if you're a first time runner, is this enough tech for you? Is a £10 pair of shoes really going to do it for you? Or do you need to be looking higher up the, the value scale? So we have scoured the markets. So we've looked in all the sports shops and this is what we found. <laughs> Introducing the Kalenji 100 Run. I think that's what they're called anyway. So um, basically, <laughs> these are from sports giant Decathlon. They cost $9.99, so that's about 13 US dollars. And nearly 2,000 people have given these shoes five-star wow. reviews on the Decathlon website. So 2,000 people can't be wrong, right? Never. In fact, <laughs> Kath, one reviewer, uh, bought them for her park runs and said they're so lightweight and durable and absolutely loves them. Well, I mean, if they get more people park running, then that's already a big tick in their favour. Yep. So we've devised a series of tests that's going to give us an idea of how these shoes perform. So we're going to be looking at the all-important fits, what they feel like on our feet, the cushioning, traction on different terrains and that kind of thing looks because you know we're not a fickle bunch but it's obviously important how they look and also finally value for money so keep watching to the end find out what our verdict is and also your chance to win a pair of them you lucky people okay so first off we need to try the fit and see what they feel like so uh, i guess let's put them on i've still got the labels on them <laughs> I've still got cardboard in. <laughs> oh, I labels. Guess they, they don't come, I mean, on the, it's supposed to do unboxing, but they save oh, yes. money by not having got. I mean, I guess a lot of money is saved in lacking of all that stuff. That all the packaging. Yeah. I quite like that there's not so much packaging. I've just put yeah. my. What do you do with shoe boxes anyway? Do you ever keep them? No. No. I, no. I used to. I did used to, but uh, no. Right. So you've got the, uh, you've got the size eight. Are you are you making a? I'm not sure, foot shaming you, and I've got the size sixes. <laughs> oh, with your petite little <laughs> They're actually really light. Slightly odd. Do you know what they feel? They feel really um, loose yes. at the front. The toe box. Yeah, odd. yeah. Initial thoughts though, they feel uh, they feel quite nice and light and breezy, especially yeah, it's really, really hot today. Yes. <laughs> well, there's not a lot. I mean, I suppose, you know, again, you, you save money by having not a lot of shoe. Yes. Although, I mean, there's quite a substantial amount of shoe on the bottom. Yeah, that feels pretty rigid to me. Yeah. Yeah. Can't really like, like it. It's all in, um, well, I know it's kind of grooved, but it's sort of one slab. <laughs> yeah. Like sometimes shoes bottoms you're, they're kind of they bend a bit more, more zonal, yeah they call it yeah they bend more in different places yeah whereas these literally bend one after the other yeah right well let's go for a little run in them and see uh see how it feels Ooh. so decathlon say these shoes are recommended for running once or twice a week on the road or on the treadmill yep um, they've got a EVA foam sole, which yep. is to absorb impact. 
that white stuff. The white stuff, yeah. <laughs> um, which, you know, most shoes have. Yeah. Um, and they weigh about 160 grams for a woman's size 5.5, which is kind of the average size. And I'd say uh, a kind of middle of the road weight as well. Yeah. There's, a, there's lighter shoes, but there's a lot of heavier shoes yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, um, well, so much about the cushioning. Let's see how they feel. Yeah, okay. Let's go, let's go for a run. Yeah. Put them to the test. Okay. That feels light. Yeah, light, kind of a bit, not very bouncy. No, quite quite flat on the sole. I would call that a sort of dead feeling, you know, yeah. where you're, you feel like you're not getting much back. Yes, it's like putting on a pair of shoes that aren't meant for running. Yes. <laughs> a little bit, when because I'm used to wearing shoes to run in that are used to running. I know what you mean, yeah. yeah. Okay, so what do you think about the cushioning? Um, I think they feel okay, yeah, but they feel a little bit to me like um, like a really good pair of shoes um, gives energy back. Yes. So it absorbs shock, but it also gives you spring back. Yeah. They kind of feel to me like they absorb the shock, but then it just sort of it's dead. Yeah, so yeah. So I'm not yeah. getting a lot of bounce back on them. Yeah. Um, Do you think you could run a park run in them? Yeah, I mean, weirdly, I think if you were quite a, um, like a toey runner. So like me. Yeah, then you probably are all right in them because yeah. you're not like putting all your weight bouncing back through because you've got naturally more spring anyway. Yeah. Um, so they might be quite good for that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I probably could do a park run in them. I'm not sure I'd... What about a 10k? I think that might be too much for me. Yeah. Um, and I do wear really lightweight, like minimally cushioned shoes, like yeah. racing shoes. Yeah. But even then... The, even though the cushioning is really, really thin and small and not much of it, they do have a, go, a good energy return. Yeah, that's um, what it is. So it's that energy return that's not quite yeah. there. I think for me, like I, I actually really don't mind them. They feel. I think I could probably get away with running a 10K. I don't think it would be a PB 10K um, because like you say, it doesn't give you that spring back, but I am yeah. a very toey runner. Like I, I just run on tiptoes. So yeah. for me, I yeah, I, I think they're, they're pretty good um, for, for comfort wise for me. Okay, so shoes for a tenner are going to have to compromise somewhere because let's face it, otherwise Nike wouldn't be, you know, charging or, or whoever brand wouldn't be charging as much as they do for, for proper running shoes. So sure. I think probably for these ones, it's, it's the sole. So looking at them, the first thing that I said when I, when I looked at them was, I don't know how they're going to perform in the wet. So yeah. different terrains and stuff. Yeah. What do you reckon for these? Well, you know, they're not trail running shoes and they're not claiming to be. No. So fair enough. But, you know, it's not beyond the uh, your comprehension that if you go for a run, you're going to go across, I don't know, a field yeah. or, or cut right across a bit of grass or, or woods or stuff. And yeah. So, you know, shoes should be able to kind of cope with that like basic level of grippiness. Yes. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And the thing that I really noticed about these shoes is that um, if you look at our both of our other shoes that we wore yeah. beforehand, what you've got is you've got your, your upper and so on, and then you've got the EVA foam or whatever it is that it's made of. Yeah. And then you've got the, the outsole bit, which is sort of rubber with a grip. Yes, it's These, like that extra bit stuck onto the bottom. Exactly, yeah. and, it, um, and it's got grip on it, <laughs> and it's, it's more traction. Yeah. Um, and it also protects the shoe a bit as well. Yeah. So this is the thing that wears. Because these have just got the, the slab of foam, yeah. there's no traction at all, really. It's like they and forgot to stick that, that bit <laughs> yeah, on. Yes, yeah, so they always <laughs> save some money. Um, but the other thing with that is that uh, you're, you're wearing this all the time yeah. rather than wearing the rubber. And I think, I suspect this probably wears a lot quicker. Mm. So I think if you wore these, I mean, they do say they're only for once or twice a week. If you yes. wore them much more than that, you'd see like shaved off kind of bits wherever you put your, you know, when you look at a pair of running shoes and you can see how yeah. someone runs from where it's worn away. Yeah. I think these would wear away pretty quickly. Yeah. Okay, so we'd like to pretend that looks don't matter. I mean, that's why we've got Rick on the channel, obviously. <laughs> e yeah, I like that. Sorry, Rick. <laughs> Poor uh, Rick. <laughs> but it is important. I think no matter what you're spending your money on, you are still spending money. So it's sure. important that, that you like what you're wearing as well. So we're going to talk about looks. Kate, what do you think about the looks of these? Yeah, pretty good for like, you know, 10 pounds. It's yeah. pretty good. I quite like the, the very neutral gray, which is the same for men's and women's. Um, yeah, so I think they're pretty good. Yeah, yeah. you do. You find um, like it's nice. It makes a nice change that for the women's ones, they're not pink yes. and the men's ones are blue. Like, like you say. That's particularly true. I, I find weirdly like with the value end of the market, yes. it tends to be more more like pink it and shrink it yes. going on. Whereas um, at the sort of top end it's more. 
kind of neons or something yeah. You know, yeah, yeah 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 i think they look really nice and i think actually um you know with them being neutral they go with all your kit and yeah, yeah like i i really don't mind them at all yeah. i think they're, they're pretty jazzy and they've made them look you know like a high-end trainer as it were because they've got like their logo on it yeah they don't they don't look dissimilar to a higher end shoe apart from the big yeah certainly from 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 that angle there. yeah 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 so yeah i think overall looks i'm i'm pretty I'd, I'd give them a high mark out of 10 for looks yeah so i guess there's two aspects really there's price and value uh, when it comes to price i don't think you can really argue with uh, 10 pounds being a win yeah i mean there's not a lot that you can get for a tanner nowadays especially not like a, a pair of running shoes or even kits some of the kits like expen more expensive than a tenner as well so yeah price wise i think tenner's fine and especially if like a tenner is going to be the difference between you starting running mm. because you haven't got running shoes and and then not running at all like we'd much rather you ran yeah <laughs> absolutely uh but then value yeah well that's kind of how this you judge because i mean even 10 pounds is a waste of money if they're just going to end up going straight to the charity shop after one wear yeah so i guess it's do we think that even that is value for a beginner runner yeah and that they'll stand the test of time i guess well i i mean personally i've been really pleasantly surprised by them i love how light they are on my feet and as we were discussing with like the the cushioning and the fit and stuff mm. for my style of running where mm. i run quite light on the, on my toes it doesn't make too much of a difference. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to be wearing these to sort of run a marathon in or, or try and PB at, at like 10K, but I, I have been really pleasantly surprised. Yeah, I think you've made the key point there with like being light on your feet. To me, these seem like shoes that if you are light on your feet, you can get away with them for a minimal amount of time. Yeah. Um, and being light on your feet doesn't mean it's nothing to do with weight. Like people no. who are like, you know, larger can be really, really light on their feet. And likewise, tiny people can be really like plump, stompy. plump, plump, stompy. Yeah. Um, so I think you have to be sort of aware of that yeah. if you're going to kind of commit to them. Yes. And I would also be aware that they are definitely designed for one to two runs a week. And yeah. that's not just about the number of runs. It's about how much time you're spending in that shoe, yeah. which again, doesn't necessarily mean mileage. Because no. like, you know, it, it could be like a 40 minute run, however far that takes you. It's yes, still 40 minutes. It's still 40 minutes. Yeah. And it's that time on your feet, like you say. Yeah. yeah. So there we have it. I think, you know, a bit of a mixed review, but mm -hmm. overall pleasantly surprised with mm -hmm. these. Um, and we said at the beginning as well that we would give you a chance to win a very, your very own pair. Um, and we like to spread a bit of good cheer here on the running channel. So here's your chance. Um, but we are aware that as sort of more experienced runners who are probably very attached to their own shoes that probably didn't cost a tenner, you're probably not gonna swap them for budget shoes. So what we want to do is give away a pair of these to one of your mates who doesn't run yet. So we wanna encourage more people to get into running and to do that, we're gonna give you your chance to win your very own pair for your mate. So what you need to do is leave us a comment below with the name of your mate and why they'd really appreciate a pair of these. and. Also, we will throw in some of our new running channel merch goodies as well for you. So uh, make sure you leave a comment below and we'll, we'll pick a winner. Cool. And also, like for the more experienced runners, maybe let us know how these would compare, you reckon, to the first pair of shoes that you wore when you started yeah. running. Because maybe like you get more value for £10 now than you did for £30 or £40 back in the day. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe to the running channel, please, guys. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time.